These are the top 5 most important things that need to be updated and slash or granted in the province of Alberta, and possibly all of Canada. There is no specific order since these are major factors and concerns. Number 5, Pet Deposits and Other Unnecessary Terms While Looking to Rent a House When going to rent a home, you used to be able to just give over the money, some landlords usually only wanted you to fill out an application. While these still happen, most now also require pet deposits for each pet, which can range anywhere from $20 to $500 plus, per pet, which is ridiculous considering a cat is harmless, and most dogs can be as well since they are good with the family members. Some landlords also require credit checks, which in turn is the same thing needed when getting a mortgage, but most landlords don't realize that maybe people have bad credit because they let other bills go in order to pay rent, and sometimes it's you that has to pay for it first, but regardless most people these days have bad credit. Just like the next thing, landlords seem to require more of these days which are criminal record checks, which can also take up to two weeks to even receive, and at this point the house you got the record check for could be taken, and also money out of your own pocket, for jobs the company you are applying for pays for it. On that note, landlords are also asking for a copy of your ID so they can photocopy it for their records, this should work both ways because we wouldn't trust others with our ID and what if the landlord is dishonest, especially if you leave on bad terms, he or she may use your ID to commit fraud and slash or any other offenses with it. Not only that but the height, weight and everything else on it can be embarrassing for others to see, and it is personal, so why don't we as tenants also get the landlord's ID in case if something ever happens where we may need it, they won't give it so why should we have to? Number 4, Rental Prices and Rent Control in BC rents can only be increased once a year for existing tenants. A rent increase cannot exceed 2.9% in 2018, written notice of a rent increase must be provided three months in advance. The Residential Tenancies Act, 2006 is the current law in Ontario that governs landlord and tenant relations in residential rental accommodations, the Act received royal assent on June 22, 2006 and was proclaimed into law on January 31, 2007, the Act repealed and replaced the Tenant Protection Act, 1997 and created the Landlord and Tenant Board as a replacement for the Ontario Rental Housing Tribunal. Rent control in Ontario only applies to units that were first built or occupied before November 1, 1991, if the rental unit is in an apartment building constructed or converted from a non-residential use after November 1, 1991, then the rent control provisions of the Residential Tenancies Act, 2006 do not apply. Additionally. A concern of negative impact of rent control is that increasing rent prices for continuing tenants are generally smaller than new tenants. Thus, setting this policy might discourage residential mobility, actually a process that change lives and neighborhoods, since rent price increases for continuing tenants are generally smaller than for new residents. Alberta on the other hand, has no rent control, and there is no limit to the rent amount landlords are permitted to charge. Rents can only be increased once a year for an existing tenant and notice of rent increase must be provided three months in advance. It has been in talks for Alberta to get rent control but it was always shoved aside, with almost 5 million people living in Alberta and the struggles listed earlier about the struggles of even renting a house, there should be a set limit on the amount of money landlords can charge per size of house. For example, for one or two bedroom houses slash apartments, etc. there should be a limit such as up to and not exceeding $1,000 a month. For three and four bedroom houses slash apartments, etc. The limit should be a range from $1,100 and not exceeding $1,600, and five bedroom and more, should range from $1,600 to $2,200. Remember these are only examples, but something like this theory should be put in place so that renters can have more affordable housing since a lot of landlords like to price gouge and charge a lot for houses that aren't worth it, especially since landlords don't usually maintain the house or property before during, or after a tenancy. Number 3, Pre-Employment Background Checks Most employers require background checks before hiring a potential candidate, and bad credit or a non-clean criminal record can make someone uneligible for employment. We as a person looking for a job, doesn't know if a company is looking for a clean record, or if a minor record, or a record from years ago will be okay to get hired. I know when I had something on my record, my first and only offense that happened years ago, I was always overlooked once several employers seen that I had one bad thing on my record from years ago, this in a way is judging someone which can also be discriminatory since you are not hiring the person judging by the offense he had on his record from several years ago. People change over the years, 
I understand there can be bad people but if you look at something from years ago compared to something more recent, I would say the person with the most recent record should not be hired since he may bring this type of behavior into the workplace. But background checks don't just consist of looking at your criminal record, they also show individual credit reports, which is ridiculous that you cannot get a job based on your credit, maybe the person needs a job to clear up this credit. They also show education and employment verifications, professional licenses and certification verifications, reference interviews, civil and bankruptcy record searches, lien and property searches, corporate registration searches, international terrorism, financial, and political sanction searches, internet and media presence searches, which as you can see feels like a breach of privacy. Why should they have the right to see our online profiles, this goes back to judging someone. Sure the person might look gangster, or maybe he loves guns, but this doesn't mean he is going to be that way in the workplace, maybe he just likes dressing a certain way and likes to hunt. Judging someone based on what you see online or from past claims shouldn't prevent someone from finding employment. Number 2, Driver's License Testing Every 5 Years We all know there is a lot of bad drivers out there, I figure that whenever someone goes to renew their driver's license every 5 years should be required to retake the driver's exam because someone that got their driver's license say back in the 70s that still drives today, may not know the new updated rules of the road since society changed a lot over the years. I'm also not saying that old people should not be on the road, but maybe within that 5 year period someone got an impairment or disability such as loss of hearing, or bad eyesight, or doesn't know the proper speed limits since back in their time when they got their license maybe a certain speed or law has changed since then that they are unaware of. I hear a lot of people say that they've been driving for 25 years, which could be a good thing, but at the same time can be a bad thing because every 5 years they go into the registry on or after the expiry date of their driver's license, pay the small fee to renew it, maybe take a new updated picture, and then be on their way, no questions asked. How is this supposed to help people know the new and improved road rules and regulations, as well as new signs, new speed limits, new anything, compared to them used to driving the way they have been for the past 25 years, which effectively can be a major factor in this day and age which can lead to accidents, road rage, driving in the opposite lanes, etc., all because someone didn't know what a sign meant, or didn't know what the yellow or white lines on the roadways mean. Number 1, Hospital Wait Times and Coverage the Alberta Health Care Insurance Plan provides eligible Alberta residents with full coverage for medically necessary physician, and some specific dental and oral surgical health services, they cover a lot of services but sometimes it seems like they aren't covering things that should be covered that other health care providers also don't cover and that many people cannot afford on their own. Alberta Health relies on the professional judgment of a physician to determine what insured services are deemed medically necessary, but every doctor has different judgment on different things, so what would really be covered that one doctor may deem coverage, and maybe another doctor doesn't agree for someone else. Sure Alberta Healthcare covers hospital visits and everything else associated with the visits such as the surgery, procedures, services, use of rooms, etc. But the hospital wait times are very long considering we have free healthcare. It shouldn't be based on who comes in first or who the hospital thinks requires more medical attention, it should be something like bringing in several patients at once so the waiting rooms get less people waiting. Hospitals should update their machines and practices, most still use all the old equipment which can take a long time, and some hospitals still are using Windows XP, procedures should be put in place where doctors can do their job safely, but also quickly so that they can help people waiting quicker. Alberta Healthcare should provide coverage for more things that people cannot afford, an example of this can be the new pills that are out that help with HIV they are expensive and if they were covered then more people needing it can be using it since it is not affordable for everyone. That is only an example but there are many medications and supplies out there that many people need that cannot afford, being covered would help the ones needing it, speeding up wait times in hospitals with this day and age technology can and will help speed up processes. Although these are the top 5 things that need a huge overhaul and I know many can agree, there are still several procedures out there that others are not aware of that the government does or doesn't do to benefit themselves rather than benefiting us as citizens. Landlords as well as human resource officers can and may stalk you or commit fraud, among many other crimes with your vital information that they obtain. We as people trust these individuals but as the population expands, more people are coming out of the woodwork by doing crimes that people never thought could happen, so these can be a possibility sometime. 